Hi everyone and welcome to Never a Flat Wrist. The fun part now, my English page is growing and thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I get a lot of questions. That's really good because sometimes it could be hard to find ideas to videos. But the flat wrist, the thought of trying to keep the flat wrist through impact and beyond impact that is one of the most stupid things golf pros ever promoted and I will tell you why. Wrist. What I mean by that is that you're trying to keep a flat wrist up here all the way, your lead wrist, all the way through impact. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. What you're doing is killing every, every energy that you ever created. The only time we're trying to keep the wrists from moving is when we putt. The putting motion should be a stable wrist motion. That's because we don't need any power. Watch this, flat wrist. And then I move my wrist. The arm is doing the same thing, but the wrist is dead or alive. Dead. Alive. If we never had to hit any golf ball longer than 100 yards, I would actually like the flat wrist. But just thinking about it, I played hockey for many, many years. Holding that or using that, it's a huge difference. Your homework from today is to watch the pros on TV. They all end up with an extended lead wrist. All of them, everyone because this is a source of power. This is a pitching wedge. If I want to hit that 100 yards, it's actually a little bit more, maybe 110, 120. My flexion an extension can give me all that. But if I keep it straight, I don't know, 40 yards? There, there is something called hack motion. I have one, uh, maybe I'm going to do this with the hack motion and show you that I really go from flexion to extension, towards extension. We need to do that to keep, keep speeding up the club. Otherwise we hit the brakes. So this is really one of the most stupid things I've seen. A really short golf shot with a lot of control, fine, use that. But if you ever want to speed up the club, if you try to keep that lead wrist straight and flat, you're going to kill everything. Keep it alive. It's amazingly easy to hit it 150 if you use your hands. I have no idea how this started. Maybe if 10, 20 years ago when they used slow motion, it could look like the wrist is somewhat flat for a long time. But today when they can measure it, start using it. I really like videos from Mike Dunaway and Mike Austin and they have a few that's actually talking only about this how the difference is to get hit by this and get hit by this it's a big difference so please when you think about your golf swing don't keep that lead wrist flat if you keep it flat 
you're probably killing, I don't know, 30, 40% of your swing speed. Keep the wrists alive. Don't hit the brakes.